Hello guys, Sabrin from FUFO and today we'll do something really exciting. We'll have a look at a new kind of software uh, called GMSH. So what is GMSH? Well, it's a 3D finite element mesh generator which can do some pre and post processing. So it can uh, help you to build geometries to mesh those geometries and also I think it uh, can help you to view the results and everything but it's mainly used for um, pre-processing which means geometry and meshing so here on the right you have the website which tells you a bit about uh, GMSH so what it is um, and the the first thing you might be asking is why this name was GMSH well, I'm not sure it has a real meaning. I think the MSH means mesh and the G means like generator or something. So generator of mesh. So it has been uh, put as GMSH. So this, uh, this software uh, that you can see on the left, so that's what we'll be doing in this video. We'll build this, uh, uh, this small um, plate and mesh it. So that will be the first tutorial. Um, so it has a graphical interface uh, and it works mainly with uh, scripts. So we'll have a look at how this actually works. Um, so why, do, why should you actually be interested in uh, learning a bit about GMSH? Uh, because it's a uh, very useful software. Well, first it's open source, it's free, uh, it's pretty light. So you know, uh, it's, it's used in many other um, even some you know uh, commercial applications uh, inside it to to do some stuff basically and it's uh, it can work alone so like uh, you know manually meshing and creating a model like i will show you or it can work with its apis and interact with c++ code c code python or uh, julia um, so it, it's really useful to, to know a bit about it, even if uh, you know you have better solution to generate mesh or easier solutions. Uh, it's always good to know a bit how GMSH works, because you will find it almost everywhere. You know, if if you're user of Salome, for example, Salome has GMSH inside it, so uh, it will use some of those functions of GMSH uh, within Salome. Uh, so it, it's good, you know, to know how to install it, how to run a few models, how to generate some kind of mesh, and why not? You might even find it, uh, you know, good enough for you to, to generate your models for uh, open foam or stuff like that when you really need something which is simple to use and uh, which is doesn't take a lot of, uh, you know, hard drive space or anything. Okay, so let's go into it. Let's start with the installation of uh, the GMSH. So on the website you have the download and you see that it's available on uh, Windows and Linux on Mac. Uh, you have the source code available. So, you know, I, I am currently doing this uh, tutorial on uh, Ubuntu, but you, you can use it also on Windows. So if you're on Windows, just download the Windows version and you can do exactly the same that I will be doing. So uh, I'm just clicking here and I'm getting the latest version that I will save on my computer. And um, after that, I'll show you how it works. Just a quick note, this is the first video of a series of uh, those videos about GMSH. And I don't know yet how many videos I will be doing. But if you think this is interesting for you, uh, you like to study GMSH and they are something that you absolutely want to see, um, so don't hesitate to let me know. Just put a comment as Cyprian, please teach me how to do this or that. Uh, and you know, I, I see these kind of comments and I take them for the next videos to, to create more of them. And it really uh, helps me also to continue on this series. So, you know, uh, and I hope you like the videos and you subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, and you know, that really helps to, to continue this kind of uh, teaching um, of GMSH. So uh, let's go, let's try to install it right now. Okay, so I just created an empty folder here on my desktop and I am gonna take this, um, this TGZ file that I downloaded and just drag into it. Then let's extract that here. 
let's have a look at what's inside. So you have a bin folder. Uh, so this is the main executable of uh, GMSH. It's the most important file. And other than that, you have some documentation, you have the tutorials. So, you know, I'll, I'll be using all this. So what I'll do is that I will basically take the tutorials and um, I'll paste it directly into this file here and uh, I'll take the executable as well paste it here for the moment I'll just uh, delete the other stuff because I will be just using this GMSH and those uh, tutorial files So um, let's have a quick look at the website and the documentation before actually uh, starting it, just to telling us how to uh, use it. So let's click on documentation. So you have a lot of stuff, licensing, general presentation. Um, general presentation, maybe. Okay, so that's, that's just a PPT basically. So you can take your time and read all of this. Um, I'm not going through all of this right now. It's a bit um, overcomplicated for now. Um, let's find where I have some kind of tutorials. So reference manual maybe, reference manual. Okay, so if you go in reference manual, that's where you'll find most of uh, the stuff. So overview, obviously you want to start with the overview. And uh, here, you know, it really tells you um, everything you have to know about points, curves, volumes, all that works. So, you know, if you, you are very new to this area, you can take a time and read a bit uh, what, what's written here. Um, now, in my case, it's uh, in this video, I will not do that. I'll just have a look at how to launch GMSH first. So you have interactive mode. Um, so you can click on the icon or you can launch it. And you can also open um, the first tutorial. And I think uh, most of what we need to know to start are actually written into this uh, first tutorial. So let's uh, close this. And this first tutorial is this one, t1.go. So let's copy that into the main folder. Let's open this. And um, here you have, so you have uh, the main functions that will go through uh, in, uh, in this video. Um, and basically everything that it does is written here on, on top of that. So um, let's launch GMSH on the left. So to do that, I'll open a terminal. And, and here you see I have this executable GMSH, but if I just type GMSH like this and um, I click on entry, what happened is that I have GMSH opening, so that's good, but it's not uh, the GMSH that I just downloaded, it's another one. Uh, if you're like me and um, you have a lot of software installed on your computer, you might already have GMSH on your computer installed uh, in your path. And uh, maybe from, you know, OpenFORM or I don't know, from an, another software. And that's probably an older version. So, you know, when you launch the tutorial, be careful to launch it with the executable you just downloaded. So to do that, just dot slash and GMSH. And if you do this, it will launch the version that I have in my folder. So that, that's the right version. So this is this uh, interface. And what I'll do is that I'll basically open this file that I have open this text file. So this is a kind of script language of GMSH. So I open that and you see I have rectangle appearing here. And this is basically what the script is doing. So it's creating a rectangle by um, creating first um, creating first the points. So 
you see the points, each point of the rectangle, there are four points, one, two, three, and four. Each point has the three coordinates, and then it has a variable LC. And this variable is created here at the beginning, and it's actually um, the mesh size around uh, the um, around this point. So if you change the size, this will change the mesh. Now, you see this model is not meshed yet, so it's, uh, it's looked just like this. It's just a geometry for now. So how to mesh this? You um, just go down the menu, you have 1D, 2D, 3D, and just click once on 2D and you see that the mesh will be generated. So uh, it's a bit uh, strange for me, um, this, this kind of uh, tree menu, because generally, you know, a tree menu is, uh, is more like some kind of organization of the objects which are inside uh, the, the model. But in case of GMSH, this tree menu is actually some buttons. So you click on it as if it's, uh, it was some small icons, you know, some, generally you have a toolbar with small icons on the top, like in Salome. But here in GMSH, instead you have a list of, uh, list of buttons like this. So when you click on 2D, it actually automatically executes the meshing. And you have the texts which correspond to the action that has been done here on the bottom. So you don't see it at the beginning, but if you get an error, um, you feel like nothing's happening, but generally you see on the bottom here and it will appear in red that something is wrong. So you, you still have this. You have also some camera option. If you click here on the small X, Y and Z, so you can change the view. So this is also pretty hidden. Um, and you know, and this uh, this is what the script does. So let's, let's have a look at the script. Um, Again, everything is written in text, but uh, I'm going to go a bit faster than if you had to read everything. So you have the first point, you have three other points which are constructed, so it's basically creating four points. And then uh, then you have to create lines that basically um, link those points together. So line one goes from the uh, point one to point two. So you see point, and there's a small number here, so this is the identifier or the tag corresponding to, to the point. So that's what we give here when we build a line. So we build points first, then we build lines. So we need four lines. Uh, then we need a curve loop that will uh, link the lines together into, um, into one unique curve. And what it is to note is that the orientation is important. So you see the edges here, the lines have been constructed one, two, so three, two, three, four, and four, one. So when I go here, I go from the line number four, which is four one, then it takes the line one, so one two, and then minus two, so it, it inverse basically the coordinate because it has to go from two to three, not three to two. So make careful when you build this orientation of these lines. Then you build a surface from the curve loop and um, and then you build this uh, physical curves. So those, you know, once you have the geometry, the surface and everything, generally you will be using this model for uh, FEA. So you'll be using another software after that and you will need some groups to assign the loads, the boundary conditions and uh, a bunch of other things. So this is where you basically give a name to your surface that you created. So here it's called my surface. Um, and all that are uh, other options you can like if you want to save in another format, for example, you have uh, the option save UNV. So if I just, um, so yeah, first before showing that, I created this mesh. Right now, let's look at my folder. I have still those two. So how do I save that? File, save mesh. And now if I look at my file, you see the MSH has been generated. So MSH, you can say it's the basic uh, format of GMSH. So that's um, that's what we you will uh, create by default. Now, if you want to create another, um, another format, you can either use the um, export, and here you have the list of extension of uh, formats that you can save in. So as good as that, you, you can really um, 
export a lot of different formal like Abacus, LS Dyna, Nastron, um, Medfile, VTK. So have a lot of options and it's compatible with all those formats. So this is what is really uh, good also about GMSH is that it's compatible with a lot of other files. So if I want to export it into a UNV, so I just type t1.unv as the name file ok save and you see that the unv appears here now um, if you don't want to open the graphical interface every time and just you want to process the geo so let's suppress that what you can do also is just um, called gmsh you give it the t1.geo uh, and you give it the option minus uh, 2 and this will tell to generate automatically the, the mesh so if you do that it's automatically generating the msh file now if you want to convert in a certain format like this you can also put it directly into your script so I can uncomment this don't forget to save this file and then if I again do this option you see that the TUNV is generated so you can go much faster than going through the graphical interface now um, what's interesting also is that um, you can go a bit more um, interactive if you want to, to build something and so let me let me show you how to do this if there's something in the model you're not satisfied with for example the mesh size um, you don't you don't want to mesh it that small you want to increase a bit so uh, what I told you that this parameter now is what is controlling the mesh size uh, because it uh, it's affected at the points so if I increase like let's say 3 I save this file what I can do is the reload the script and click again on 2D and you see that the mesh size has updated so you can change like that a bit the script and uh, for example instead of 03 I will move it to 05 don't forget to save every time reload the script and remesh and you see my model updates so you can like that build your model a bit less um, a bit more interactively by um, using this common reload the script um, which is uh, pretty useful so let's try by let's try creating a new script by ourselves by taking some of those functions uh, and to show you a bit uh, what kind of function you really need so let's call that t1 I don't know t12 dot geo So it asks you which geometry kernel you want to use. So you have two open cascade of built-in. So open cascade is um, a bit different, different comments. Uh, sometimes easier to to build some some stuff, but it's a bit more advanced. So I'll use the built-in. So this is all built-in, and um, that's it. So this is the geo. So I can edit. If I click on edit the script, it's automatically uh, open that. Uh, so let's start by taking some of those stuff here so I'll take the same mesh size here just put that here and now I'm starting by let's say I want to create a, one triangle so what I'll do is that I'll create three points so one two three change the indices one two three like that and um, this will be one, this will be one, and uh, this is, oh sorry, so let's start by zero like that, one, one. Let's save that and let's reload the script and you see that my three points have appeared. So now I can see my triangle is uh, starting to look like a triangle. Now I need uh, three lines, so I'm just taking those lines here putting them here so one two three and I have to link the points one two um, two to three and three to one save let's reload 
and now my triangle is uh, generated. Now I need um, this curve loop to create some kind of wire that will um, wire those together. And this will be one, one, two, three. Right? Let's try reload. It doesn't give any errors, so it's fine. Uh, we don't see much, but it's it generated uh, the surface, the, the loop. Now let's generate the surface from that. Still OK, still no error. Now we can generate some groups as well. So for this example, I don't really need some. Um, and I think my model is ready to mesh. So let's just click on 2D and you see that the meshing just appears. Now, if I want to create a second triangle on the other side, let's suggest, um, well, I just need a force point actually, not um, three more points. So four, and this will be one, one. So save that, reload. Now I have a point which appears here. I need uh, two more lines. So this will be four and five and um, so four and five which will link so this this is the node uh, two two to four and this is a four to three and um, and I already have this line here, so I will reuse the line number three, uh, line number two, I think. This is, yeah, this is the line number two. So now I have to create one curve loop and a second curve loop, two, uh, sorry, one, two. And this curve loop will take, so this is the edge, two, four, Let's reload. Okay, so I got two triangles. Let's. So now I have only one surface. So if I try to mesh that, yeah, it only meshed this this part, as you can see, because I didn't build this surface here. So I know if it works. If I do like this, one and two. Let's try. Yeah, reload. Yeah, doesn't work. Done. Uh, error. Okay, so I have an error. So I guess I have to create two planar surfaces. Save this. Reload. And um, when the mesh is not be forming a closed loop, two boundary nodes are considered once. So when you have an error somewhere, you see that uh, you have some uh, error message. So the error here uh, is that I didn't respect the orientation when I created the second loop. So as you can see, second loop is taking the line number two, which is here. It's taking the line number four and line number five. But line number two is going to from two to three. Line number four is going to two to four. So the nodes node 2 should be uh, the line number 2 should be oriented in the other direction here so it, it must go to 3 to 2 2 to 4 and then 4 to 3 so if I do this I save again I reload the script and I mesh you see that this time my two triangles are uh, meshed correctly so finally let's save that into um, UNV format, for example, so control and save UNV. And if I reload, execute and uh, save the mesh, I can see that my uh, okay UNV hasn't been exported, but I, um, I have to run the script. So let's GMSH. T one two dot geo and dash two to execute it. And you see that my 
writing T1. Uh, okay, yeah, it's, it's actually exported as T1 because the name is here. So I should T1.2. Okay, and now that works. So that's more or less what I have for the first tutorial. And um, in the next tutorial, we'll have a look at uh, a bit more advanced function of this GUI and how you can uh, build a bit more um, high-end models with uh, GMSH. So see you in the next video.